This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about the vaccine amnesty for undocumented migrants in the United Kingdom. Uh, the United Kingdom had previously announced that undocumented migrants would be included on the vaccination programme, but no real details had come out after the announcement, which was very disappointing. However, it might be that there is a way forward, um, uh, and quite a simple one, uh, please continue to watch to see what you can do to get vaccinated. And I would urge everybody uh, to get vaccinated as people from the migrant community tend to be at a higher risk of get, uh, cat contracting the virus and dying from it. Um, <clears throat> and this advice will involve the Home Office not finding out any personal information about you. The Home Office uh, did announce that undocumented migrants can register with their doctors for a vaccine against COVID without fear of being ejected from the UK by the Home Office. As a result of the dreadful handling by this government, in my view, um, uh, the, the UK has suffered very badly under the COVID pandemic with more than um, 100,000 deaths, considerably more than 100,000, um, having died since last March, including, sadly, my own father. However, <clears throat> the UK's uh, uh, rollout programme of the vaccination is, is the fastest so far in Europe and now includes those who are in, undocumented. So I would really urge you to get involved in this and get the vaccine. Apparently, uh, the government have announced the following key points, and, and I would invite anyone to take note of them. The COVID-19 vaccine is free of charge on the NHS, so you won't be liable for it. The NHS will never ask you for your bank account or card details, so they can't be passed on to the Home Office and cancelled in any event. Um, your PIN or banking password, well, that's perhaps not surprising. And most importantly, they will not be asking for copies of personal documents to prove your identity. Now, this is key for some of the people who are very scared that the Home Office will, in fact, get hold of the NHS data. So the NHS have said that they are not going to require copies of personal documents to provide your identity. Um, from what I've seen, supposedly anybody can register with a, a GP for the vaccination, whether you're documented or undocumented and get vaccinated without the Home Office being passed any of your information. Uh, to, th to this end, a government spokesperson has said, those registered with the GP um, are being contacted at the earliest um, opportunity and we're working closely with partners and external organisations to contact those who are not registered with the GP to ensure that they're also offered the vaccine. Um, so if you are registered with the GP, get in contact with them, even if your leave has expired um, and asked to be included on the vaccination programme. If you are not registered, either find your local GP or try a few GPs and try and get registered and explain that you want to be registered for the vaccination programme and make reference to the fact that the, that the Home Office have said that, 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 that you can um, and that it's vital that you are. Um, and if you have trouble with English, take some along that, that, that speaks English. As I have mentioned before, absent any express formal guidance, or if you fear, as a great many migrants do, that the Home Office um, will somehow get their hands on this information, then please contact me or another lawyer um, and they can help you get the help you need, i.e. the vaccination, um, uh, without putting yourself at risk of uh, immigration enforcement action. So the good news is that the government have basically said uh, that you don't need to prove your identity, um, to get the vaccination and that the information won't be passed to the Home Office. So it is progress in this uh, vaccination amnesty for undocumented migrants. As I say, I hope it's a start towards a general amnesty, um, but only time will tell. But as I say, if you have any doubts, please get in touch with me um, and I will do my level best to help you. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. This is Paul Turner, the Immigration Barrister at Imperium Chambers.